We'll start right off with one of those yellow cards. Defenseman Michael Rooney tries to save the ball from going out of bounds, but Elmira's Eric Lee shoves him. They both put, push each other and both receive warnings. After the first half, the game tied at zero. Moving on to the second half, things got even more heated. Here, junior Andrew McIntosh tries to score and runs straight into the Elmira goalie. To make matters worse, McIntosh firmly throws him down. McIntosh deservedly receives a red card, so he is out of the game and will have to miss the first game of next season. Fisher's coaching staff must have not agreed because coach Rob Searle wanted a few words with the referees. Coach Searle even had to be restrained by assistant coach Chris Bauman. So as a result of this series of events, tournament director Norm Kiefer had to call in additional security for the duration of the game. Just minutes after the McIntosh red card, Elmira's Alston Eldridge receives a red card himself for a hard tripping foul on Fisher's Brian Canty. It's a cliche, but Canty definitely took one for the team because this gave Fisher's star player Luke Lennox a penalty shot. He converts to give Fisher a 1-0 lead in the 61st minute. In the 77th minute, Empire 8 first team selection and Fisher senior Luke Lennox in the final game of his career scores his final goal off this breakaway opportunity. In his celebration, he thinks the game and the championship is wrapped up. He was right as Fisher went on to win 2-0 and claim the title of 2009 ECAC Upstate Champions. Luke Lennox scored both Fisher goals and was named the game's most outstanding player. Adam Durst recorded five saves as Fisher outshot the Soaring Eagles 19-10. Lennox finishes his career at Fisher with 32 goals in three seasons. He played his freshman year at Division I Denison University in Granville, Ohio. Senior goalkeeper Adam Durst finishes his four-year career at Fisher with a 25-29-3 record.